All right, here's the Slack challenge for this month. Um, the last challenge was water. And if you're new to this, uh, here's what's going on. Every other month, Matt Armstead, our release pixie, gives uh, all of us a photo challenge. And um, they usually take two months. And the big prize is not uh, material. There's no stuff to win, but a review of your photo here on the show. And the theme of the last challenge was water. And it's now officially come to an end. And of course, I have again chosen three pictures to uh, review here on the show. Now, last time I've not only done this review here on the show, but also on video. And uh, the feedback I received about the whole video thing was quite good. So um, you guys seem to really have enjoyed that. So this time I'm doing it again. So if you want to watch along and see the photos, there's a link on the show uh, description that goes directly to the video. So check that out. Uh, it's definitely better to watch when I'm reviewing photos. Um, and if you're watching the video right now, I'm waving to you. Uh, this is part of the podcast Photography Tips from the Top Floor, uh, known as TFTTF, and um, episode 817. And uh, here is a shortcut link to that episode. So if you want to hear the rest of the thing, you want to listen to the rest of the episode, um, this is where you go. And this is where you find the entire episode and a lot more episodes, as you can tell from the episode number. So let's get right into this. The theme was water. And a great way to show water off, of course, is reflections, but also motion. So we have a lot of reflection photos, a lot of motion pictures where um, the water, the water's motion is dragged out with a longer shutter speed. And sometimes even the, the, the com connection of both the mixture of both, which is really interesting. So uh, here's the review and let's get right into the photos. So here's the first one by Kyle Nekim Nekimken. Nekimken. Anyway, the title is After the Rain. And it's a reflection of a palm tree in a, uh, in a puddle on a parking lot. At least that's what I get out of that or on a road or somewhere. It looks like a parking lot. Of course, the palm tree's reflection is upside down because that's what reflections do when they are on the ground. The light behind the palm tree is warm. It's a sunset-like situation, uh, which makes the whole palm tree situation into a beautiful silhouette. And then the puddle itself is in, in a parking lot, which um, means that the light in the parking lot in, in front is more in the shade. It kind of evokes a feeling of dusk. So possibly been taken during sunset and um, th there's a beautiful primary color contrast in there because the whole light in the in the shade in the front in the, in the parking lot is is bluish and the the sunset the clouds behind the palm tree are lit in orange and that makes not only a nice color contrast also look how that subject is framed i mean the the palm tree is the subject of course and it's framed by the puddle and it's in warm light, which draws the viewer's gaze towards it. So uh, it works really well. I like the photo a lot. So Kyle, great job. Next photo is by Andreas Andreas Huppert, I guess sounds German, um, titled Water Lenses. And what Andreas has done is I think it's a pretty, pretty, pretty cool photo. It's very graphical, very like, like it's a, it's a drawing, like an ink drawing, drawn with black ink, very, very well defined edges, at least in the foreground, and it almost looks computer generated. It almost looks like it's a CGI photo, very stylized, and uh, but he is, a, but it is a photo. He's taken a macro, actually multiple macros, and done what's called focus stacking of water drops on black glass. And those hard edges in the front and the reflections on them, they contrast with the background, which is a light source. It's an LED light source, which is out of focus in the background. And that together, yeah, makes for, for interesting contrast on, on the front of uh, the, the sharp versus not so sharp, but also contrast, of course, because it is a black and white photo. There's almost no gray tones in it, at least not in the foreground. Um, so Andreas, I hope you printed this one out and, uh, and hung, it, hung it somewhere up on the wall. 
Last but not least, the photo by Brendan Burkett. The title is Puddles, and it's apparently been shot in Cincinnati in the rain. And it, it it does a few things here. Well, first of all, we're, we're looking at a photo of reflections at night. So you have a, a wet street. There has been rain, obviously. And then everything, all the lights in the buildings and in the, in the, in the, uh, in the windows reflect in the puddles on the ground, which, again, makes very, very interesting pictures. But then there are also these these disembodied tail lights from a car you can see them um the red the red stripes that you get from longer exposures in the rain and the car isn't there on the photo it's just disappeared because it, it didn't register um because it moved but the lights have registered so you have these stripes of light these disembodied stripes of light which are also reflected in the ground and they kind of point towards the backdrop. There's this looming building with the red, um, yeah, with red lights on on the top or right under the top, and white lights over the top, which kind of gives a glow to the, I guess, some mist and and haze around the top. And so, so it's it's an, an interesting way how the colors double. So the reds, the red tail light uh, stripes, double the red light on the top. Of the building the white lights double the, the other white lights in the building um it's a good it's a good composition but also a good like use of technique for for long exposure for night photography and uh kudos for doing a good job wrangling the red channel because the red channel is always a bit of a difficult one to handle so good job on all that and good job everyone else so brendan andreas and kyle uh you have done Wonderful, and let me just let those images rotate a bit for you. Um, next challenge. We have a next challenge coming up right now. Hello, everyone. Rapster of the Release Pixie here with your next Slack challenge. This challenge will be due at the end of May 2018, and the challenge for this month is a bit more open than we've done in the past, a lot less restrictive. Uh, this is The topic is contrast, so... There's a lot of options for that, whether you're talking about contrasting lights, contrasting colors, contrasting subjects, high contrast processing, high contrast film. Um, that's all we're talking about for the for the challenge this month. So go out and take a new photo, something that works with that subject of, or that uh, theme of contrast, and uh, process it however you'd like. Upload it to your favorite web hosting or onto the Slack and then post a link into the channel. Uh, I'll get this channel set up by the time you see this. So do that, and then at the end of the challenge, I'll close it up, and Chris will take a look at the top three or four that he likes, and he will uh, review them on the show. Uh, happy shooting, everybody. Awesome. So there you have it. It's, um, as always, go out and take a new photo. We don't have a way to enforce that, but... There's no prize to win uh, other than your photo being reviewed. So I guess um, the biggest prize will be that you get off your butt and that you go out and take some new photos. And uh, so take that as a nice reminder that listening to podcasts is great, but going out to do photography is even greater. Uh, so the next challenge is, let me get those pictures back online. The next challenge is contrast. Um, here's the... Uh, yeah, this works. Uh, here's the instructions on uh, what to do. First of all, take a new photo depicting contrast in whichever way you want. Uh, take take a new photo again. No, don't just take one that you took five years ago. There's nothing really to win. And I see this as a great way to get off your butt and go out to shoot. Second, if you're not yet on the TFTTF Slack, join it. It's free and you can share and, and be in a great community there. And uh, the link is on the, on the, in the show notes. The link is also right on the screen. Russ, our chief invitation officer, will be happy to get you on board. And uh, last but not least, submit your photo to that Slack channel. Uh, Matt will or has created this specifically for this challenge. It's called Challenge Dash May 2018. And uh, I guess, let me change that thing on the screen. Okay, 
Thanks again for watching and for participating. I can't wait to see your entries for the contrast challenge. And again, if you're watching this as a video right now, uh, this is part of a podcast episode. You can listen to the rest at this address, tfttf.com slash 817. And I can't wait to see what you're going to submit for the contrast challenge.